Hi, my name is Debbie. Are you struggling with your family history research? Would you like to access an online encyclopedia with almost 100,000 articles in 10 different languages on family history research and resources written by people who know their stuff? That's exactly what you can find on the Family Search Wiki. Let me show you how to do that. So now we're on the home page of the Family Search Research Wiki. Let me show you a few things before we dive in to some other fun things you can find on the wiki. If you want to view the wiki in another language, over here on the left hand side and across the bottom of your page are the 10 different languages the wiki is available in. There are two options for searching. Up here on the right hand side is a search box where you can enter a topic or a place. Remember, the wiki is not a place to search for people. It's a place to search for help with your research. You can also enter in a place or a topic here in the middle. The other thing that you can do is you can use the map and just click on an area of the world and drill your way down until the, you get to the right area where your ancestors lived. Now, perhaps you're wondering where to look for vital records like birth, marriage, and death certificates of your ancestors. Check the wiki. They have this wonderful new feature called guided research. You can find it right here on the home page. Now let's say I'm looking for my ancestor's birth record in North Carolina. Let's give guided research a try. Now here we are on the home page for guided research and you'll notice that there are areas of the map that are in green. Those indicate those areas have guided research ready to go and you can begin your research there and the guided research will help you to locate birth, marriage, and death information for your ancestors. The areas in gray aren't quite ready yet, but they're working on it. Now let's say, remember I wanted to look for my ancestor's birth record in North Carolina. I'm gonna drill down on the map to North Carolina. Here we go, click on it. This is the guided research page for North Carolina. And you can see we have options for birth, marriage, and death. I'm gonna choose birth. That will open up an option of a birth index that I can search for the birth record of my ancestor. But if I don't find him in that record, there are some additional things down here that I can also try. Let's check it out. So here I am on the page, North Carolina births, what else you can try? Here are some additional online resources. Here's three more databases, it, online indexes that I can search. And you'll notice that some of them have a dollar sign so this tells me that this is a paid subscription. I'll need to have a subscription to access it or visit my local library or family history center. There are also substitute records. A substitute record is a record that might help me calculate a birth date, but not necessarily be a birth record. For example, a death record might tell me how old a person was when they died. And with that information, I could calculate a birth year. As we go further down the page, there's this section on improved searching. Perhaps the information you're entering in the search engine isn't quite, isn't bringing back the results that you want. Um, I'm a big fan of less is more. Maybe try putting in a little less information. Trying some of these other tips might help you find someone in one of those online indexes. Finally, there's this section, why the record may not exist. Now let's say my ancestor from North Carolina was born in 1911. Statewide registration of births did not begin until 1913, so I'm not going to be able to find a state birth certificate for his birth in North Carolina because they just didn't exist. That's when I'm going to want to go to substitute records and find another record that might help me identify his birth information. Now let's say you have Italian ancestors and you need some help reading that Italian because you don't speak Italian or even understand it. Let's go up here to the top of the page and we're gonna type in Italy. And the page you want is Italy genealogy. So here on the Italy genealogy page, there's a lot of information about all things Italian. There are research tools, how to get started. There's information on, for beginners. There's also several articles here on different kinds of record types, what they might contain and where you might find them. So this can be very helpful when you're doing Italian research. Now let's say I'm looking for a birth record for my ancestor from Italy and I found one and I can read his name, but that's all. Here, I have an Italian birth document translation. Let's check it out. 
So here I have a sample birth, Italian birth record, and I have the Italian in boldface and the English in italics. So I will be able to use this as I read the birth record to understand where the important pieces of the information that I need on my ancestor might be located. This is a great help for you doing research in foreign countries and many other countries besides Italy in the wiki have these types of information. Now let's go back to the Italy homepage. So here we are back on the homepage and I wanna scroll down and show you something else. There's some information here on background, on history, on handwriting, and look, there's an Italian word list. This is a list of words commonly found in genealogical records. I have the Italian and then I have the English equivalent. And you will find these types of pages on many, for many foreign countries in the wiki. And so I highly recommend them for those of you that would be researching in another country. All right, now let's say I'm planning a vacation to Virginia. I wanna check out maybe some of the local libraries because I also have ancestors from Virginia. So let's go check out the Virginia page. So here I am on the Virginia State page. I know it's a state page because it has Virginia, United States. Here is very similar information as to what we saw on the Italy page, but for Virginia. And they also have pages like these for counties and parishes throughout the world. So make sure you check all levels of jurisdiction for your ancestor in some of these places in the wiki. Now I mentioned that I wanted to go visit some local libraries in Virginia. So I'm gonna click here on Virginia Archives and Libraries. Here on this page, I can see in the table of contents, national repositories and state repositories. I wanna see what's available in the state of Virginia. Now the first one right off the top is the Library of Virginia. This gives me the address, some contact information, and I've even got a link to their website. So I can go in and find out what they might have that's not online that might help me to find more information about my ancestors. And sometimes it's a good idea to try these um, archives and libraries because they oftentimes have collections that are not available online that might help you in furthering your ancestral research. So it's important to keep that in mind when you're looking for the records of your ancestors. Now, I hope this has helped you understand how the wiki can help you with your research. Remember, the wiki is not a place where you can put in a person's name, but it's a place where you can find information about how to do research, about record types and what they might contain, where they're located, and they may just be able to help you jump past your brick wall in your family history research. So next time you have a research question, check the wiki. Thanks for hanging out with me.